Hi, my name is Tara. This is my YouTube channel, and today I will be venturing on a journey. The journey of all journeys. The journey of a lifetime. Today I'm going to buy some plants. But not just any plants. I'm going to buy plants that are native to Florida, that help the environment. The insects, the other insects, and whatever else eat these things or use these things for survival. But more specifically, I'm going to be buying plants that help monarch butterflies. The plants that I will be buying today are called the milkweed plants. The one that I'm looking at specifically is known as the swamp milkweed or the pink milkweed, scientifically known as Asclepius incarnata. So the swamp milkweed is a favorite summer nectar source of the monarch and also a good host plant for caterpillars. The blooms are also popular with other butterfly species and beneficial pollinators. As you can see below, it shows you all of the regions that this plant is native in. Here's a visual for anyone who'd rather see rather than just read. I personally like this version better. So as you can see, this plant is native to almost all of the USA. If you are going to buy plants to help the monarch butterflies, it is important that you do your research and buy only the plants that are native to your location. You might be wondering why this kind of information is so important. Well, monarch butterflies are in danger. Are they an endangered species? I don't know. But what I do know is that there was a time within the last 10 years where their numbers had significantly dropped, and that's bad. Making sure that we plant the right food sources in the right locations is the least that we can do for their survival. The swamp milkweed is native to where I am, and that is Florida. This website states that monarch larvae feed almost exclusively on milkweed plants. About 20 or so milkweed species can be found in Florida. All are native except the tropical milkweed, scientifically known as the Asclepius curasavica. My apologies if I said that wrong. The tropical milkweed is commonly found at retail nurseries and big box stores in the state. It is not the best food plant for monarch larvae and is somewhat invasive and should not be planted. Guys, do not plant tropical milkweed unless you live in Mexico or Central America. Oopsie, you already have it planted. Just make sure that during the winter time, you make sure that they're cut back to lower the chance of a monarch butterfly flocking to them. This website states that there is research that shows very clearly that monarchs breeding on tropical milkweed throughout the winter have higher levels of protozoan infection compared to monarchs in the migratory cycle. This result is not debatable. The migratory cycle is basically the cycle that the monarch butterflies go through when they migrate from country to country or state to state. They also state that the non-native of tropical milkweed allows monarchs to breed throughout the winter as indicated by citizen science observations of eggs and larvae during winter months. Scientists don't know exactly what causes monarchs to be reproductive and to forego their long distance migration. It could be exposure to the tropical milkweed or some other factor, perhaps warmer conditions or even poor physiological condition in the monarchs themselves. While we don't know why they stay, we do know that year-round tropical milkweed patches and the year-round breeding that they allow foster greater transmission of the protozoan infection. Therefore, we recommend that tropical milkweed should be cut back in the winter and fall months in the southern U.S. and California and should be gradually replaced with native milkweeds as they become available. So this information is basically stating that when the tropical milkweed is in conditions that allows it to continue to grow year-round, the bacteria on it builds up from monarchs because it never dies out and regrows new stems and leaves like it should because it's a perennial plant. The more the plant is used by the butterflies, the more bacteria it harbors. This means that the monarch butterflies that choose not to migrate and or end up laying their eggs on the tropical milkweed during winter months are more prone to the infection that can cause them to die faster. Their offspring usually end up getting infected as well. Once again, if you are going to buy any plants that help monarch butterflies, please make sure that you do your research and only buy the plants that are native to your location. The name of the tropical milkweed, scientifically known as the Asclepius curasavica, is sometimes disguised with other names, so I'm going to go through a list of those names. They are the silky gold scarlet yellow orange milkweed, 
or somewhere along those lines, you'll see usually scarlet gold and orange as two main colors that they state. Another name is the Mexican flower or the Mexican weed, the blood flower, or even the sunset flower. It's honestly crazy how many names one plant can go by. But anyway, let's get back to the swamp milkweed. They are perennial plants. So once when you plant them in the ground and supply them with a healthy living condition, they will literally take on the work and do the rest for themselves. This website states that the milkweed plant is an important food source for the monarch caterpillar. Not only are they an important food source for the caterpillars, but monarch butterflies are always actively looking for milkweeds for a nectar source and to host on. So a host plant is basically a plant that the female butterfly decides to lay their eggs on. That's exactly what I was stating the monarch butterflies were doing with the tropical milkweed plant and that's how they were getting infected along with their offspring. Once when their offspring are born, they end up eating the tropical milkweed and the bacteria that's on it get into their system. But the swamp milkweeds here are fine because they are native to this location. So as I kind of stated before, Butterflies tend to lay their eggs on what their offspring will eat once when they hatch. The caterpillars can go right into munching because that is their whole purpose. Their whole purpose is to eat as much as they can to prepare themselves for their transformation. Here is a pro that I found about the swamp milkweed. It states that the swamp milkweed is not invasive as some other milkweeds are and is well behaved in the garden. This website states some more pros that I found really interesting and they are once again that they play well with others and are not aggressive spreaders. They're easy to start from milkweed seeds. They have a sweet but subtle vanilla scent. They make a great cut flower with its long lasting blooms and you can use them for stem cutting to raise monarch butterflies. Stem cutting is basically just cutting off a stem of one plant and replanting it in another location or pot so that it can grow on its own. It's a great way to save money. More swamp milkweeds that I may buy and might even be easier or cheaper to work with are the Ice Ballet Swamp Milkweed, which is a beautiful white flowered cultivator of Asclepius incarnata, the pink swamp milkweed. It's slightly shorter than the original growing between three to four feet. It's mildly fragrant and serves as a nectar plant for many butterflies and a host plant for monarchs. Grow as a companion plant with a traditional pink variety to attract more monarchs. And as you can see, this one is also native to my location as well. And then there's the aquatic milkweed, scientifically known as something different, which is the Asclepius perennis. The aquatic milkweed can be grown in sun to partial shade and prefers moist soils like swamp milkweed. It has white flowers and blooms repeatedly throughout the season. It's a great pollinator plant for bees and a preferred native milkweed for monarch caterpillars because the leaves stay viable throughout the season. This two to three feet white milkweed adjusts well to container life. I clicked where it shows container life in red as you can see by the you know the dotted red rectangle that's around it and it stated this information. So the first pro to having a container life plant is number one, portability. You can move this plant around anywhere you want. Number two is raising monarchs. When you raise monarchs on a potted plant, you don't have to consistently switch out their milkweed supply. However, if you do leave this plant outside for any period of time, that you thoroughly check the leaves and container for hungry predators. Now with all of that information that I just shared with you, I will now buy some plants. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to share my screen or anything like that just yet, so what I will do is I will take screenshots of all of the websites and all of the flowers and everything that I look at, and then you can see what I'm looking at from the screenshots, and I'll let you know if I buy it or not. So the first website that I'm going to check out is Butterfly World. If you don't know, Butterfly World is in Florida. It's not very far from me, so I'm assuming that if I buy something from this location, I'll receive it sooner than 
later. So I've searched through the website and I found that they have one type of swamp milkweed at the moment and that is the white native milkweed but they only have the seeds. That's the one that's scientifically called Asclepius perennis. I'll put the picture of it back up just for in case if you need a reminder. It's also known as the aquatic milkweed. So their seeds cost $4.95 in American money. They state that the milkweed plant grows in areas with soils that are continuously wet, bright white fragrant blooms, very rare and hard to get. The native species of milkweed that hosts the monarchs, queen, and soldier butterflies. It needs full sun, about one teaspoon of seeds per pack. So I'm not sure how much one teaspoon of seeds per pack is because I don't know what milkweed seeds look like, but I'm going to add it to the cart for the moment because I don't know what other websites have to offer just yet. All right. So although I do have that sitting in my cart, I will not proceed to buy anything until I see what the other websites that I've opened have to offer. Now I'm on this website called joyfulbutterfly.com. So I believe that this is one of the websites that I got a little piece of my information from. If I can verify that, I'll repost the website and the, the picture that came with it. So it says that you can get 50 seeds, if not 100 seeds, if not 500 seeds, um, for how much is 50 seeds? So 50 seeds is $2.65. 100 seeds is $2.95. 500 seeds is the full $6.25. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the 100 seeds. They also tell you where it's native from again. And I will add that to my cart. I think I'm going to try and look for the ice ballet and the aquatic milkweed now. I'm a little scared to buy full or almost fully grown plants online because I never know how long they take to ship and I'm not trying to have them die in the mail. I've had that happen to me before. Okay, so I didn't state this before, but just like Butterfly World, um, this website also sells the tropical milkweed seed, so just be careful. Out of the other two that I was looking for, they don't have those either. They only have the regular pink milkweed. I mean, it's completely fine. I don't mind. How are you guys? I'm back and I brought my little baby Stitch with me. He just got a haircut today. He looks so cute. Mm. Alright, so while he sits on my lap and just looks adorable, I'm gonna go to the next website. I don't remember where I left off and I'm so sorry. That's what happens when I get distracted. But now I'm on Etsy. So on Etsy, I do see the regular pink milkweed and I also see the ice ballet milkweed. So that's pretty good. Um, that one costs about $4. I'm pretty sure it's going to be shipping price, but they do have shipping eligibility. So let's see how that goes. I'm more likely to get what I want from here. Everything I want all together. Oh, so apparently the swamp milkweed is also, the pink one, is also considered the rose milkweed. Um, apparently it's also called the Cinderella one too. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now I've kicked open some tabs. And first I'm gonna look at the pink milkweeds. This uh, specific seller, they say that their materials are handmade and the cost to ship is free. And let me see their options to choose from. I can either buy a 20, pound, a 20 count seed, a 40 count seed, and an 80 count seed. The 80 count seed is $11, the 40 count seed is seven, and the 20 count seed is $4.49 estimated to five dollars why not i'm gonna add the 20 count to my cart and i'm going to look at the other options before purchasing anything so here's another seller this seller is supposed to be the one of the best sellers their options are 35 seeds 70 seeds 140 seeds 550 seeds, 1,220, wait, 1,125 seeds, 2,250 seeds. They'll sell you a lot of seeds. And the further you go, the, the higher the price. They go up to $95.69. So, uh, I'm looking at the cheaper options, like 35 to 70 seeds. Let's get 35. That one's two dollars and what now? Twenty nine, I think it was. Twenty nine cents. Yeah, till twenty nine. What's the matter, Stitchy? You getting antsy? No boy's getting antsy. 
Let me know if you guys want a video on him because he's a very interesting pup. I think now I'm ready to move on to the Ice Ballet milkweeds. Okay, so you get 25 seeds for $4. That is this seller. So this seller says 30 day cold stratification required. I don't know what that means, so I'm getting ready to look it up. Make sure to put your seeds somewhere safe in the fridge where they will not be disturbed. Check on the seeds after a few weeks and if you notice the seeds start to sprout in the bag, plant immediately. Okay, well I'll do more research on that before I think about buying that one. So there's another seller that is willing to sell 100 seeds for the price of basically $4. Oh, so they all need cold stratification. This one also said the same thing. It's to break dormancy, freeze one to three months, and sow the following spring when the ground has warmed and all danger of frost has passed. But I live in Florida, so do I have to worry about that? Okay, so I'm gonna add it and then do my further research on exactly what stratification is and how to do it properly. And because now that I know that this one, the seller from before, is not the only one who does cold stratification or requires it, I'm going to add this one as well and then compare prices and things like that after. So now the last thing that I want to check for is Asclepius perennis. So seven results popped up and weirdly enough the tropical milkweed is one of the results but I will only be opening the aquatic milkweed tabs. Did my laptop just die? My laptop just died on me. Okay, I think I'm ready to continue now. The first one, the first seller, sells 10 seeds for $3. I believe that they say that this one is rare. I think they said that in the Butterfly World one. They said that it was rare. So, you know, 10 seeds for $3 and Butterfly World... How many seeds did Butterfly World say they were gonna give? How many seeds are you giving me? Wow, they don't even state. Either way, three seeds for $10. That's what we're looking at right now. Morning sun and afternoon shade, I can arrange that. So it takes about three to seven days to germinate in warm temperature, like 70, 75 degrees. Moist conditions, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, they say you can start it in a moist paper towel over heat mat. Transfer to pot when seeds germinate or you can just start it off in the pot, which is what I want to do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add these. So now I'm on to the next seller and the next seller says that they will give you five seeds for $10. I think I'm going to bounce on this one. <laughs> five seeds for $10. And it doesn't give me much information. Ooh, not as much as the other one at least. I'll still add it, although I'm, I think I know my answer. Now let's look at the third one. Ah, ah, you're, they're selling it for $24. They're selling it for $24. Please read. Okay. Each caterpillar needs 20 leaves from egg to chrysalis. Cool. Aquatic milkweed is a smaller milkweed with beautiful tiny bundles of flowers. Don't even get me started with a tropical milkweed. I'm not paying attention to that one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It says tropical milkweed is great for feeding caterpillars, but if you want a butterfly garden done right, native milkweed is a must. Thank you. Thank you. I, I respect that. I respect that. So we are shipping without containers. No props. Um, These are grown from seed to plant. Yeah, but that price though, and I'm not sure how many you're giving me. I'll let it anyway. Out of everything I looked at, that was the last one that I was interested in clicking. So now I'm going to go to my cart on Etsy. I'm going to go to my cart on Joyful Butterfly and I'm going to go to my cart. Alright, so if it's not one thing, it's another. My camera died, so I just hope that the additional footage was saved, but I'm going to continue kind of where I left off if I can somewhat remember. I know that I was saying something about comparing the prices of Joyful Butterfly, um, Butterfly World and the Etsy things that I added to my cart. 
Um, I also took the time while my camera was charging a little to go on ahead and do more research on cold stratification. So now I know what it is and it's going to help me with my decision because I was really thinking about bailing those ice ballets. But I think that all of the perennials are going to need to go through this because they say any plant that is a perennial or a tree or um, I forgot what the other term was but like plants like that all of them should go or need to go through cold stratification so just like a quick little uh, explanation of cold stratification cold stratification is basically you know like putting it in a moist um, napkin or on a moist napkin not too moist and then putting that into a ziploc bag and into your fridge for about a month um, they say that you don't want to go over six months I mean six weeks my bad <laughs> but it I think it at that point it like all depends on how much research you do on that specific plant um, I'm gonna most likely leave mine in for about a month because or until I see the first like one or two germinate because they say that the second you see germination plant them immediately at least I believe that's what it said I'm gonna do my extra research and make sure you know, before I take any action once when I get the plants. Not the plants, the seeds. But anyway, so here's the first one. The first one is the Asclepius Phrynus, the one that cost $24. The second one on Etsy was the um, Phrynus one that has five seeds for $10. Um, the third one is 10 seeds for $3. The fourth one is 25 ice ballets for $4. I see another set of 100 for four dollars. I'm estimating the prices by the way and I believe that that's the one that that said cold stratification required like the first one to say it I think no 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 that was the second one that was the second one and then I put two uh, pink milkweeds on here okay so 425 or four dollars each and then the other one that I added was about two dollars and thirty cents so and then I saw a joyful butterfly at two dollars and four and ninety five cents I'm sorry I'm gonna have to kick a joyful butterfly to the curb but you are a great candidate and I might come back to you if Etsy I don't know does me wrong or something so I'm just gonna make sure I keep this website saved on Butterfly World. Butterfly World is five dollars. This one says twenty four dollars um, and I don't even know how many they're giving me. So I'm gonna, oh, uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna take that off because shipping is also an additional seven dollars and I'm not trying to spend that much money for something that it's like my first time planting. Yeah so that one's gonna go bye bye. Say bye bye. All right, so there's two more on here that I did add. One of them says five seeds for nine dollars, and the other one says ten seeds for three dollars. I think we know which one wins here. The shipping might be free on the one that costs ten dollars, but even if you still add the shipping price on the cheaper one, it only comes up to an estimate of seven dollars, six dollars, and some change. So I think I'm gonna kick that one off as well, just because of price. These two that I'm kicking off are just because of price. It's the other one also, the one from Joyful Butterfly, is just because of price. I'm not going to lie, I might buy from Butterfly World just because I know that they're close by me. And I did go on a field trip when I was in third grade. I got a ruler from my trip to Butterfly World and I still have that ruler to this day. <laughs> <laughs> they made a big impact on my life and I don't think they know that. Although I was always interested in butterflies since before them they really made me into butterflies because I got to actually see a whole garden full of them. And it is a place that I hold dearly in my heart so I might just give them my money anyway. Like take my money, take my money, take my money, take my money. Alright so let me see how much the shipping price comes to. Because if the shipping price comes up to something ridiculous I might have to say no. Okay, okay. It's only um, adding up to $5.30 um, when it was $4.95 before, so a 35 cent increase. Okay, well anyway, so I'm, I'm still going to hold on to the other one because, I don't know, I might buy it anyway. Just so that I can have an extra option because it seems like once when a certain time of the year passes, like it's not that good of a time 
to begin to begin uh to begin gardening. Stitch, calm down. It ain't that serious. Let's move on to the ice ballets. I have two of them. I don't remember what I was saying again because I was once again distracted. But basically one of them in price wise looks better. So I'm gonna go with that. So I have two options of the pink um swamp milkweed and this one was a bestseller so I'll, I guess I'll just go with that one because the other one is shipping too and this one is free shipping it's like why go more expensive especially when you don't know the quality yet so all right so so far I have at least one aquatic milkweed one ice ballet milkweed and one swamp milkweed so they come up to twelve dollars and four cents in my Etsy account if I still bought the Butterfly World one, I would be spending about $17, because that one's $5.30, so 17 and some change. Mm, yeah, 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 I'll buy it. Okay. I don't know what the heck he's doing. You just see his tail in the corner. But yes, I've taken the photos. I have definitely taken the photos. And I think I'm going to hit purchase now. I'm going to, just to further re-explain one last time, I'm going to be buying one of each on uh, Etsy and the Aquatic Milkweed on Butterfly World as well. So I'm going to be getting the Aquatic Milkweed twice. My idea or plan with these plants is to plant the two, the Ice Ballet and the Pink Swamp Milkweed, or Pink or Swamp Milkweed. I plan to plant those outside in the corner of my house. There's a little spot behind a bush and it gets sunlight and then once when the sun reaches you know like noon time and so on to the evening it's nothing but dark there and there's a hose that leaks so it always get water and then for the two aquatic milkweeds which I think I was already planning on buying two of them in the first place I don't remember I have to look back at my notes but I think I did say I wanted to get two of them and because if I'm going to you know if I'm going to raise or you know help to take care of caterpillars of monarch caterpillars and the last thing said they eat about 30 leaves before they go through their transformation then I'm gonna need enough milkweeds around the house because I want to make them container plants I'm gonna need enough milkweeds around the house to supply for them and I can't do that if I don't have enough you know, if I don't buy enough alright so I'm proceeding to check out which I will not show you guys because I believe I have to start typing in some very, very um, specific information that's not supposed to be known on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Alright, y'all. So I bought the plants, and now that seems to be it. At least for now. Okay. So I do have a few things to say. The first thing I'd like to say my dog is growling. <coughs> Bitch, it's not all about you, huh? It's not all about you. It's not. Ow! He <laughs> bit my finger. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, one of the few things that I want to say. One of the few things I'd like to say. Is that I'm going to take away. I'm going to take away the goal that I had of posting Monday evenings and Tuesday afternoons because I just can't seem to follow it. So now, um, I guess my goal is going to be a little bit more open and that is to just post it any day of the week. As long as I get one video out throughout the week, I'm fine with myself. So uh, I guess this is apology because I know that this video is coming out late, but at least you guys are going to get a video. <laughs> Also, um, another thing that I'd like to say is that further along in the future, oh my gosh, my dog. Further along in the future, I plan to become a butterfly caregiver, which I think I accidentally spoiled earlier when I was talking about, like, you know, like, raising monarchs and uh, caring for the caterpillars and how many leaves they eat and things like that. So, yeah, I do want to try and become a butterfly caregiver. Stitch. Um, I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but basically I'm going to help to raise 
uh, monarch caterpillars, the way that I think it's going to go is the plants that are outside, they're going to host on those plants. And then I'm going to use the Perennis. I'm going to set up an area in my patio or like a specific location in my house. And I'm going to use that area to raise the caterpillars and then release them once when they are transformed. So this is going to be a new process. I know that there's a lot of information that I still need to do my research on. But I have raised caterpillars before from, you know, like, you know, the, the kitty times in life. And I did it pretty much by myself. My mom didn't help me. She just read the instructions and <laughs> and then I did it. <laughs> but yeah, so I've always loved butterflies and I did think that because I was older that I couldn't show my love for butterflies anymore, which I now know that you know, that's not the case. I used to do butterfly projects, which I think I did say, but I used to do them every year and I had a love for them that was like so strong but anyway like yes I, I literally just said I would raise them and then I would release them and that was so freaking fun I would do it literally for homework those were the good old days and now I understand that just because I'm older it doesn't mean that I have to stop showing or expressing my love for monarch butterflies it just means that I have to trance form it or convert it into something that's more appropriate for my age so with that being said, I will officially be beginning my journey and showing my love for butterflies again. Hopefully this passion will continue to escalate and I will eventually, you know, be more into helping other types of butterflies and etc and planting more plants that are native and everything but you know like I said before which I think I kind of just said a second ago is that as long as you plant plants that are native like you should have no problems and you'll be helping like all the other butterflies and all the other insects regardless so that is the end of this video subscribe if you'd like to be part of the journey I do have a whole series planned out if you know things go well um, like if you feel like liking all of my sources will be listed in the description box. Comment to share your thoughts, your ideas, your opinions, your questions, and even your stories. And let me know if there's any additional information that you know that you'd like to let me know because I know that there's a lot about this that I need to be informed about that I probably didn't go over or should know in the future. So if you know anything, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Please! I want to have conversations with people, so comment if you can. But remember to be kind. So y'all stay happy and y'all stay healthy and hope to have you back for my next video. Bye!